But as everybody might know by now, last night the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Kamala Prasad Bissessa, announced that the curfew was over. And this is what happened to me. It was 11 o'clock in the night and I was home sleeping all on a certain a whole set of noise I start hearing a peeping through my window because I don't know what to do because I know it was after 11 and it was supposed to be for a few but I hear a big truck passing I see people on the street parading everybody only one chorus they're singing the curfew done the curfew done the curfew done well, I hold my head and I start bawling. I thought it was a nightmare I was having. Wondering what kind of madness these people doing. It was almost 12 o'clock in the morning. Old butter spoon and pan the beaten. If you see them like they're now released from slavery. If you see how truly people happy. And over and over again. All of them were singing the same refrain. The curfew done. The curfew done. The curfew done. I look out and I see a police van passing with his nose up, my head start hurting. I thought, if you see me through my window, I'm peeping and I'm ducking because I see, well, now the police gonna start arresting. Well, what kind of madness in this place? Oh, God, jail running out of space. If you see me, if you see how I'm ducking and I'm peeping, but then all of a sudden, I see police them put their hand up in the air. Jump in and them two start singing. The curfew done, the curfew done, the curfew done. So I run out on the street. If you see me, like I hypnotized to the rhythm and the beat. And without any care or without any control, I started shouting out loudly to the world. The curfew done, the curfew done, the curfew done. So you, what you're waiting for, come and join, come and join me and sing the song, because the curfew, oh yes, the curfew, it's really done.